Need a pencil though. Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and Eric Oblander. Oblander. We're going to make some car air fresheners. We're not going to use any power tools. We're just going to use some 1 8 inch plywood, cardstock, fragrance. Fragrant, fragrance. 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 That's oil. I'm gonna have a drink while doing this. What are we drinking? Uh, well, as you can see, my employer has spared no expense with the Kirkland brand double box, which is actually not too bad. I'm on a budget. I'm on a budget you here. Gotta, you gotta, <laughs> I understand. Yeah. You gotta pay. Costco beer. Eric has no idea what we're gonna do, but I'm just gonna direct this. We're gonna draw an image on here, right? And then we'll use some spray adhesive, attach it to the plywood, then we'll take a coping saw and cut that out. Construction paper or cardstock of different colors that we can use on the outside and we can cut that out with an X-Acto knife or whatever. And then we'll use this fragrance oil, frag, fra, fra, we'll frag, use, it's frag, rin, fra, frag rinse. We, we're going to use some essential oils to make it smell good and then hang it up in the car. All right, so first thing we need to do is draw our images. You know what you're going to draw? I do. All right, here we go. You're going to draw yours freehand. I'm going to find an image online and trace it out on there. Sucker, you think I'm going freehand. I ain't. Oh! oh! All right, you're going to do a skull. I am going to search for ice cream. <laughs> Emoji. Ice you know, you're going to be using a coping saw for the first time ever, so the more complicated your drawing, the harder it's going to be. Well, then who the hell cares how hard it is if I, it's going to be difficult anyway. Oh, people are going to care how hard it is. Come on, man. Hopefully this is not going through onto my screen. So, there. All right, cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Excellent. It works. Excellent. Just take my my image and spray some spray adhesive on here. Glad I'm wearing eye protection. What do they call OSHA? <laughs> right bleeping now. Desperately rethinking this whole choice. All right, so I'm just going to attach mine right here in the corner. Bitch, I'm Madonna. Bitch, I'm Madonna. That's what I'm talking about. Now the hard part. You ready for this? I've never done this, so. Hey, Ray. Um, you know what? Let's use the bandsaw. I'm only two sips in, so it's not like I've been drinking all day. Eric, have you ever used a bandsaw before? Uh, we have not been drinking, so please do not drink in woodwork at the same time. Lumpy. How do you like your oatmeal? Yeah, I like my oatmeal lumpy. I'm spunky. I like my oatmeal lumpy. I'm gonna drill some holes for the eyes. Did we say at the beginning that we weren't using any power tools? That's just <laughs> <laughs> a pointy ice cream top. It looks like a. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. it looks like a KKK member. Oh it does. no! It does. Oh god! I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it... well, it's not gonna be white. It's not going to be okay, white. Okay, all right. All right. Wow. Good job. Ever used a drill before? <laughs> I have, believe it or not, no. Yes, I have. There you go. There's one. That only took ten minutes. Well, at least mine doesn't look like a fascist. Of my skills and my skull. All right, you can tear off your scrap paper. So if we would have really thought this through, we would have attached the colored paper before. If you want to learn more about woodworking and tools and stuff, you should check out makesomething.tv. Take a piece of sandpaper and kind of get rid of the little frayed edges left by the bandsaw. I'm just gonna take this beer and get rid of some of the frayed edges left by life. <laughs> I just spit on myself. Not bad, not bad. Stinky oil. Stinky oil. And uh, lost a little oil uh, eyedropper. So I'll just. Oh, no. oh it's gonna. Oh, this stuff. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Just rub it in there. 
How you feeling there? You feeling good there, uh, Grand Wizard? Uh, that's no. Seriously, no. <laughs> enough. Enough with that. David Duke shit. Right, uh, uh oh. Ah. Uh, you want to get him? You want to get him on camera? <laughs> Speaking of David Duke. <laughs> 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 David Duke. Oh, he really is Dukey. Oh, uh, we really are doing this completely wrong. So I'm thinking red for Red Skull, like Captain America's nemesis. Captain Canada? America, who's that? My two pieces, I sprayed some Super 77. You familiar with that superhero? Super I 77? Am. Yeah, it's actually a Bad Rain song, for those of you Bad Rain fans. And notice how there's a cutting mat. Under think. the board. Yeah, so let me use the cutting mat. Oh God, no! All right, there's the, there's one side. Whenever you use an X-Acto knife, always point the blade at your friend next to you. This is awful. <laughs> this is so bad. Mine looks great because it's ripped. <laughs> Gives it that terrifying Halloween look. It's in time for Easter. <laughs> you know that term? Don't poke the bear at the same. That I do. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Po don't poke the bear at the zoo? Yes. That's not a saying, that's just no. general knowledge. <laughs> Somebody's gonna lose a finger. Somebody's gonna get the finger. Get a little hole for my string. <laughs> this is going down as one of my shittiest projects. Just make the hole bigger. You know what, this is just like when you're filming my shows. Like, I'm doing all the work for you. <laughs> flavor, flavor! Yeah. That was way harder than using the laser. Uh, <laughs> proving your point, David. They smell really good. And, you know, if, if you took your time and you did it right... You could do it correctly. You could do it, you could do it yeah. very well. And those that are skilled with the coping saw could easily cut this out. And then you could take some sandpaper and smooth out the the edges. I did put out another video today where I make these on the laser cutter. If you want to see that video, there'll be a link down below. I'd like to thank this week's top Patreon supporters, and that is Jonathan, J. Katz Moses, David Ingram, Bill Deal, Megan Payne, Brian McKnight, Chad Forster, and Timothy Allen. If you want to find out how you can support me and maybe increase the budget and production value on this show, visit patreon.com slash Petrudo. I try to put out videos every Thursday, sometimes on Tuesday as well. And like I mentioned earlier, I also put out another video today where we make these on the laser cutter. We got we have the new Glowforge machine and that thing is a blast to use. We have all kinds of woodworking tutorials on this channel along with tips and other crafting art stuff. So subscribe if you're new here. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat and MySpace. So all those links will be down below. Eric, did you have fun today? I did. Uh, I'm sorry I messed everything up and probably broke most of the things around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got lots of crap glued stuck to my hands now. <laughs> and I stink like a Christmas tree yeah, uh, it, thing. It smells really good in here. Which yeah. two two sweaty dudes doesn't usually smell that good. Anymore. Yeah, really, it smells it smells delightful. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys had fun, Eric, my friend. Cheers. Madonna.